hello students welcome to this video uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, the first uh, supplementary from your moments book the lost child okay uh, in the previous video the first part i already i gave the an introduction about the uh, story the lost child uh, written by uh, mulkraj anand he was a very famous indian writer uh, so in the previous video we uh, discussed about the introduction of this story the lost child and also i gave uh, some information about the author himself and now uh, in this video we are going to uh, read the line by line and i will give you the explanation of each and every line of the story the last child okay the last child a child goes to a fair with his parents okay uh, he is happy and excited and wants the sweet and the toys displayed there okay it is uh, very obvious that uh, someone who goes to the fair uh, they will be attracted they they will be very fascinated about the things which which were displayed in the uh, shops okay so um, here also a boy who is a very young boy um, he goes to the fair uh, with his parents and he was very much attracted towards the sweet and sweet son toys displayed there but his parents don't buy them for him why then does he refuse when someone else offer them to him so he he was uh, demanding uh, the things uh, which were uh, displayed in the sweet stall and also the toy shops but he was uh, refused totally denied by Uh, they are pa his parents but because they they were so strict especially his father was very much strict so all the demands were rejected by his parents but in the end somebody else has come and he was uh, ready to offer the things which were the small boy was a demanding to his parents but now this boy says i don't want anything i want my father i want my mother why this change has happened okay um, when you study this story we will be learning the exact thing what happened to that boy to change his opinion of buying the sweets and toys <coughs> let's see it was the festival of spring okay uh, during spring season the festival takes place so it was the festival of spring from the wintry sats of narrow lands and alleys emerged a gaily clad humanity okay from the wintry sats and the wintry wintry sats uh, which means uh, the winters is uh, during winter uh, uh, in the along the way along the lands and alleys along the lands and alleys na sandu da the lands and alleys na thuru ana sandu nu solrom adha da okay uh, lands and alleys emerged a gaily clad humanity gaily clad here gaily clad it is a uh, strange uh, uh, words gaily clad what is that gaily clad gaily clad is nothing uh, cheerfully clothed people those who wore that their dress very cheerfully okay cheerfully uh, cheerfully clothed cheerful cloth cheerfully clothed they are, if you look at them their appearance their uh, the way of uh, dressing was so cheerful okay gaily clad humanity okay from the wintry sides of narrow lands 
and allies emerged. Emerged means nothing uh, became uh, apparent. If you see the, uh, if you see that, if you look at the lands and allies, allies not uh, narrow lands. Okay, uh, when you see that, you can uh, see the people uh, wearing very cheerful dress. Okay, uh, some walk. Some of them uh, was walking uh, to the fair. Some uh, rode on horses, okay, uh, riding horses, and others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. So some people were walking, some people uh, rode on horses, some uh, were sitting on uh, on the carts, and they were carried by uh, bamboo or bullock carts, okay. See, some walked, some rode on horses, others sat, being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. This is the scenario at that point of time. The story started in this uh, situation. Okay, what is that situation? Uh, it was a fair, festival of spring. So people were going to the fair. Uh, how the way they dressed was daily clad. Daily clad is nothing cheerfully clothed. The people were cheerfully cheerfully clothed, and some of them were walking. Okay, some are uh, riding on horses. Others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. One little boy ran between his father's legs brimming over with his with life and laughter brimming over is nothing full of happiness uh, laughing he was enjoying himself one little boy okay and ran between his father's legs you could have seen this kind of uh, instances uh, when you when you go to the fair okay when you go to the fair you, you could have seen uh, many um, instances like this okay one little boy ran between his father's legs brimming over with the life on laughter okay brimming full of life with the laughter he was enjoying okay he was thoroughly enjoying himself going to the fair see this is the boy and father and mother he goes to the fair there, there are some shops okay sweet stalls and also toys come child come call his parents as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way so the boy, the boy was uh, going with his parents along the lands. When he was going, the some uh, shops were lining uh, along the way. So he was uh, just looking at that, looking at that shops, and he was attracted towards the uh, shops. So he was uh, lagging behind them. Okay, parents were moving. Uh, just before uh, the boy, the boy was uh, lagging behind them because this boy was attracted uh, to uh, the toys. Okay, as he lagged behind, fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way. So the, his parents called the child, "Come, child, come!" Called his parents. He hurried towards his parents. Okay, see, so he heard a sound from his parents, so he hurried, hurried towards his parents, his feet obedient to their call. Okay, as he was a small boy, uh, he was very much obedient to uh, his parents' call. Once the call was made by his parents, immediately he uh, hurried towards his parents, his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering on the receding ties see 
uh, he was very much obedient his uh, foot his feet was very much obedient once he heard that sound he was just going hurrying towards the towards his parents but his eyes still lingering still following on the residing ties okay residing ties you know the meaning of residing uh, residing means uh, moving back okay residing means moving back his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering on the residing toys as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart okay he he was unable to control himself okay uh, uh, seeing that uh, shops uh, the uh, the ties were decorated very nicely in the shop uh, sweet stalls so after seeing so many things in the fair he was unable to control himself as he was a very small boy okay so he had uh, his feet were obedient to their call his eyes uh, still lingering on the residing toys as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him okay so the parents were waiting this boy goes to that goes to them and joined them but he could not suppress that desire he had a desire what is that desire he wanted to buy some toys and sweets he could not suppress he could not control the desire of his heart he his heart wanted something okay he was unable to control that even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes he knew about his parents especially his father he was very strict so his uh, demand will be refused he was very much assured that okay even though he well knew the word cold stare of refusal in the, in uh, refusal in their eyes avangal uh, our parents oda kanna paakumbodhe avan andha chinna payanukku theriyum definitely he is not going to get anything okay this uh, demand will be refused the boy very much knew that i want that toy i want that toy he bleeded i want that toy he bleeded who the small boy wanted that toy he bleeded na or vendi kettukirathu va or kinji kettukira mari da okay he bleeded okay uh, i want that toy his father looked at him a red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way okay tyrant's way which means cruel way romba kodumu romba kovama or fierce la or fierce look kudukirathu okay yavara payam his his father the uh, small boy's father uh, looked at him red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way the he, he was he used to see in the same way okay so whenever he the small boy asked something to his parents his father was so as he was very strict he will uh, he will give a look okay uh, look at him red eye in his familiar tyrant's way okay tyrant means cruel cruel look okay the way of looking was very much cruel okay kangala sevandircha appa okay after uh, uh, hearing that uh, demand by his son his father was so angry red eye okay in his familiar tyrant's way this is uh, this happened so often so the tyrant look was so much familiar not new uh, not strange but it is familiar always he gives that kind of look or if something is uh, demanded by his own son his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was attended and giving him her finger to hold said 
look child what is before you okay look child what is before you so he, we knew uh, his father was so strict uh, he, he shows uh, his red eyed uh, familiar tyrant way but his mother was uh, so melted by the free spirit of the day uh, was uh, tender comparatively she was uh, better than uh, his father I'm giving him her finger to hold and said look child what is before you okay look child what is before you one of the other part of the other part of the other we know mama so wrong look child what is before you it was a flowering mustard field okay it was a flowering mustard a mustard field pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land okay or idu vandu or mustard field and adha kadandu poparanga it was a flowering and adha poothu or poopal poothirundichu mustard field and the total area field irukla and adha vandu mustard field adha mustard field adha vandu flowering and poothirundichu pale like melting gold or melting gold pola or veliri irukla and the pukala as it swept across miles and miles of even land swept across what is the meaning of swept swept across spread over okay spread over the even land okay a mustard field it was a mustard field now a group of dragon flies were bustling about on their gaudy purple wings gaudy purple beans dragon flies means fast flying insects fast flying insects and bustling about means moving energetically okay moving energetically bustling about moving energetically a group of dragon flies fast flying Uh, uh, fast flying uh, dragon flies were bustling about energetically moving about on their gaudy purple wings intercepting the flight of a lone black bee okay intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers okay so um, intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or karupu or bee na or teni da okay black karu undu meri solran le and meri black bee intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers in the flowers la undu sweet kaga sweet and adoda sweet undu teri and the flowers ku varu the child followed them okay the child followed them on the on the on the butterfly path only the child small boy just following him following uh, following them the, the small boy was just following them the child followed them in the air with his gas they may have part it and the fly and the butterfly parakar path it and the pinnary follow up me for okay the child followed them in the air with his gas till one of them would steal its wings and then rest and he would try to catch it if edu varaikku paathite pora appadina nare butterflies parandittu pora adha keela paatha vaana butterflies parandu poradha paathittu follow pannite pora evlo thoru paapa follow pannite pora till one of them and the nare butterflies were flying one of them would still um, its wings and then rest or fly or butterfly just is sitting some somewhere and he would try to catch it the small boy was uh, trying to catch it but it would go fluttering but it would go fluttering fluttering means flying unsteadily okay Fl- uh, flying unsteadily here uh, but it would go fluttering and flapping up into the air when he had almost caught in his his hands okay uh, almost on the butterfly pushed up but at the almost pudikira time was just flapping up into the air then his mother gave a cautionary cautionary call then his mother gave a cautionary call come child come come on to 
the food part okay what is part of wa tapa tapa to one so long yeah come child come come on to the food part he ran towards his parents gaily and what a priest of them what a priest of them what is that a priest means in front of okay he ran towards his parents gaily and walk in front of them okay again the boy was lagging after the call was made by his parents he ran towards his parents gaily and walk uh, a priest of them a priest of now we will not go around the poor a priest of them in front of them for a while kunja mattuna for a while okay being however soon left begin again left begin attracted by the little insects and the worms along the food path and were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine teeming means it's uh, uh, coming in large number okay teeming out coming in a large number come child come his parents called from the side of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a wall okay or a grove ko or group group of trees grove means nothing but group of trees ko and the land they had set seated and they were kind of walking around they had seated themselves on the edge of the wall there is a wall the wall the edge la um, they were sitting okay uh, from 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 there they may call the man they made a call to his uh, to their son come child they come his parents called from the side of a grove where <coughs> they had seated themselves on the edge of a well he ran towards them not wall just well okay um, they had seated themselves on the edge of a well he ran towards them again he goes to Uh, their parents goes to his parents to join with them a shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove okay on the group of trees circle and the grove will enter all just many uh, flowers just fell upon the child as he entered the grove and forgetting his parents okay he began to gather the uh, raining petals in his hands so the call was made by Uh, his parents uh, once he heard the sound he started to he, he was hurrying towards his parents but when he was entering into the grove uh, in the grove um uh, shower of any flowers fell upon the child so forgetting his parents again he began to he gather the raining petals in his hands but lo he heard the queen of doves queen of dows and ran towards his parents shouting the dow the dow okay once he saw the dow uh, he shouted like the dow the dow he just ran towards his parents and shouting the dow the dow the rain petals dropped from his forgotten hands after seeing this dow he forgotten forgotten uh, he has uh, has forgotten the dropped petals the dow the dow the raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands again come child come they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers around the banyan tree and gathering him up they took the narrow winding foot path which led to the fair through the mustard fields okay so again they called come child come they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers around the banyan tree and gathering him up they took the narrow winding foot path which led to the fair through the mustard fields mustard field valiya um, and the fair ku poitirukanga as they near the village as they near the village the child could see many other food pots uh, full of thrones full of thrones large packed crowd thrones means a large packed crowd 
as they were, as they neared the village uh, where the fair was uh, taking place. As they neared the village, the child could see many other footballs full of thrones converging to the whirlpool of the fair and felt at one rippled and fascinated by the confusion of world he was entering okay because it was so uh, very much uh, um, populated that area congested okay thrones means full packed people okay a sweet meat seller hawked uh, first experience in the fair see here it is very important um, point a sweet meat seller hawker gulab jamun rasgulla Bofi, Jilebi, at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed around his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets decorated with the leaves of silver and gold. So now, sweet meat seller, hawker, hawker, hawker means shouted, how Lajaman, Rasgulla, Bofi, Jilebi, where at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets decorated with the leaves of silver and gold. The child stared up open eyed and his mouth watered for the burfi that was his favorite sweet. Okay, so what is his favorite sweet? Burfi. Okay, once he saw that. Um, he felt like watering uh, his mouth, water for the burfi. That was his favorite sweet. Now he uh, demand. He starts uh, to demand. I want that perf burfi. He slowly murmured. Okay, the boy, small boy, slowly murmured. But he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded because his parents would say he was greedy. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. So first, he saw a sweetmeat seller, hawk, gulab jamun, rasgulla, barfi, jilebi. So he wanted to have barfi because barfi was his favorite sweet. But he knew his father will not uh, listen what he said. So without uh, waiting for an answer, he would moving on. He would be moving on because his parents would say that he was greedy. Okay, who the small boy uh, greedy? Who will think like this? His parents. Okay. So the boy already knew about the parents. So he without uh, waiting for an answer, he just uh, he would be moving on. He moved on. Next. So first, first experience with the sweet meat seller, sweet meat seller, second experience, see, a flower seller hawked, a garland of gulmuhar, okay, uh, gulmuhar is the uh, flower, okay, a garland of gulmuhar, a garland of gulmuhar, the child seemed irresistibly drawn, he went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped under Half murmur, again half murmur, no? murmur is no? mild voice, no? uh, okay. uh, half murmur, I want that garland, I want that garland, okay, but he well knew, again he as, uh, as he was knowing everything about his parents, uh, here also, but he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers, because they would say that they were cheap. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. First, his parents would think uh, if he asked the burfi, he would be greedy. Okay, he is greedy. But now he, his parents will think uh, cheap. Okay, refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap. They would, they were cheap. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. Next step. A man stood holding a pole with the yellow, red, green and a purple balloon, balloons flying from its source. Third experience. First is sweet star. So, um, second one is um, that flowers, 
flower seller and third balloons a man stood holding a pole with a yellow red green and a purple balloons flying from it the child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all uh, he romba asa avanga ella balloons e vaangina abingiradha is there was his desire was to buy all the balloons the child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all but again he knew but he will he will knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play with such toys balloon la balloon la vachila vaandukittirukka mudiyadhu nee konjam periya payana aita so uh, you have grown la uh, grown so the balloon is the not not the right thing to play with you but he he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say what they would say he was too old you become old to play with ties such kind of ties so he walked on further so now fourth a snake charmer yeah snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket its head raised its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan okay neck of a swan yes snake charmer adutha pakkaranga snake charmer pakkaranga on the flute he went he started to play a flute once he starts the snake was dancing according to the movement of movement of the Uh, flute okay a snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket or basket la adu sutti irundhuchu coiled la sutti you might have seen this in any fact a snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan where the music stole into its invisible as like the gentle uh, rippling of an invisible waterfall the child went towards the snake charmer but knowing his parents had forbidden him okay uh, uh, his he knew about his parents again so uh, definitely he will be refused to stay there to watch to hear such a coarse music as the new uh, snake charmer played he proceeded further okay without uh, waiting he moving on he is moving on there was a round about in full swing now uh, now he sees that round about in full swing uh, full la sutti irukka na rat namuri okay there was a, a round about in full swing men women and children carried away in a whirling motion okay and the sutti irukku la அந்த மோஷன்ல நிறைய மென் உமன் அண்ட் சில்ட்ரன்லாம் இருக்காங்க ஸ்வீக் அண்ட் கிரை அவங்க வந்து அந்த சவுண்ட் தி மேக்ஸ் நாய்ஸஸ் அண்ட் டிஸி வித் டிஸி லாஃப்டர் த சைல்டு வாட்ச் தம் இன்டென்ட்லி அண்ட் தென் ஹி மேட் ஏ போல்ட் ரெக்வஸ்ட் ஸோ ஆல் த ரெக்வஸ்ட் வாஸ் ரெஃப்யூஸ்ட் பை தேர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் நவ் நவ் again after seeing the round about he wanted to have that that experience so he made a bold request to his parents i want to go on the round about i want to go on uh, the round about please father mother okay this is the request after seeing that a round about there was a no reply he turned to look at his parents they were not there see what happens here so there was no reply he wanted to um, experience that round about wanted to have that experience uh, with uh, the round about once he made that request he did not get any answer once he turned to look at his parents 
his parents was not there okay his parents was not there ahead of him he told to look on either side they were not there he looked behind there was no sign of them so he looked everywhere looked around but his parents were, was not there he missed his parents